is today I want to look at the, the selling process. Although Dr. E.K. Strong developed the sales process or, or penned the sales process in 1920 in a book called The Psychology of Selling, uh, that process is pretty much uh, the, the core of any salesperson's activity. The thing that changed slightly over the last few years is, is the fact that we incorporate all of the emotional uh, and interpersonal things that have to be included there, mainly because of the fact that human beings don't actually take these things on anymore. Culturally, the society has changed and, and what used to be considered a norm isn't anymore. And so the things that uh, Strong ignored have to be included in this. And so the first thing we're going to look at is, is the introduction. And it's important that you decide how you want to meet and greet people. Uh, whether you're an organization or an individual, you need to have an understanding of that. You have corporates. Good morning, you're through to AOL. My name's Ron. How may I help you have an even better online experience? So we generally treat names in different ways in different cultures. Those of you who are in Western cultures pretty much better be aware of the fact that my name is not Ron. Uh, my name is Ronald Hughes. Um, it's important that you actually identify me for who I am and the, the, the whole name should be used. It's important that if you have an organization, you probably want to take a two-stage call opening. Uh, two-stage means that you'll introduce the organization by saying, good morning, followed by company name, followed by the, the, the normal standard, how may I help you. You should always greet everyone with one of three yeah, greetings. The first one is good morning, the second one is good afternoon, and the third one is good evening. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's important that you get the good in there first. The importance of the company name. Some people decide to use or not use a company name at the beginning of the conversation. Sometimes people utilize their own name. I would suggest that you utilize a company name. I think it's very important that you answer the phone saying the company name. That way people know who they've gotten through to. Well, if you're taking a call from somebody on an outside line, uh, your name has no significance at all in this communication yet. It is only after the customer tells you what they would like that it has importance. If I pick up the telephone on an inbound call, the first thing that I should say is good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, followed by the company name followed by a question, how may I help you? At that point, it is significantly important that whoever is taking the call should listen and listen very carefully because the rest of the communication is going to impact heavily from this point. The call for assistance at that point is generally what the customer says they would like. And the next thing that you should say, I can help you with that. I can help you with that. 